Okay, the last part of this lab exercise is to create an inelastic collision, a perfectly inelastic collision where the objects stick together after the collision. Here we have our card again, 223.8 grams. Effective length of the flag is still 9.6 centimeters. It's going to travel through this photocell gate. We can get the time so we know the velocity because we know the length of the flag. It's then going to strike this cart and the two of them will move together through the second gate. You'll notice I removed the flag from this cart because we only need one flag to determine the velocity of the combined objects. These objects have some Velcro on them, so when they strike one another, they stick together as they must in a perfectly inelastic collision. And uh, I will do one run for you now, and then off camera I will do a couple more and give you the data. And it looks something like this. seconds and the combined mass 0 0.995 seconds. I'll do two more runs and provide the data to you.